What do you think? Good. Ooh, an icicle. Good morning, everybody. It's Wednesday morning, December 14th, 2016. And we're looking at the icicle hanging down right there. And look at what Grandpa did yesterday. He installed the running boards on his new truck. Ooh, those look nice. What? So they match the chrome. What running board? The thing that you tested out, that you stood on top of that him and Uncle Bob installed yesterday. So they look really, really nice, really sharp. Not bad price either, he said he got them at. Uh, well, so I gotta go to work. I got my car, the inside of my car, loaded up with everything I got because my trunk is frozen. That's why none of this is in the trunk, Grant. The trunk is completely frozen. I can't open it. This, that's the one feature that this car doesn't have that I always thought was kind of weird. There's no um, trunk pop. So, like, and it's got a physical button that you press in to pop the trunk on the back of the car. And that button always freezes up. So it would be nice to have, like, a cable release trunk pop or something. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, it happens every year, so it's okay. I mean, I can access the trunk through the back seats, like by folding them down if I really, really needed to. But uh, I don't need to, so at least not right now. Stay tuned for more. It is super cold out. It says it's eight degrees, and I might have to go get some more gas. It's only supposed to get colder. Um, my car's gonna be parked outside at Vicky's overnight tonight, so hopefully it starts up in the morning. All right, look at this. This, so this, like, you know, the, the hood buds, you know that. Uh, oh, the fire. oh, I didn't realize that. So okay. you, you, it's a little uh, char. You can't see it now, but all of this is all burnt. <laughs> so I got another one. I gotta get that. Sorry, I shouldn't on. be laughing, but put some hamburgers right on there, man. I should. There you go. There you go. But That's otherwise. not funny. It's running. It's running. It is. It's running. Yes. You're on my my uh, other channel with uh, the when we took me for a test drive me and Jack yes. Jack and I yes no all right what's going on everybody so I'm just, uh, out of work for my lunch break and I am gonna try something here I don't know I'm still learning about this whole process but having said that I got my drone with me and my controller and I'm gonna try to uh, hit this force preserve spot here and see if I can fly this bad boy. Now, I'm trying to figure out what this guy is doing all the way down by the water. He was just like looking at the trees and writing stuff down, so I don't know if he's drawing something. He doesn't look dressed to be outside for very long, but maybe he's with uh, the park or something. So, um,. We're gonna see how this goes. All right, so I went and registered my drone with the FAA and got my own number and all that stuff and was trying to do some research in terms of like what do I need to know, what do I need to do, what do I not need to not do, all that stuff. So I pretty much figured it out, all well, the basics. Now, I'm not quite sure what to do with uh, helicopters or helipads. I'm clear in this area of any airports, but I think basically I just need to, um, you know, if I see or hear any helicopters coming, I need to basically land my plane or ground it. So that's, that's going to be the plan. Um, I'm looking at a map here, and well, it's probably not going to show up on camera but you can kind of see the different shades of colors. Those are all overlapping friggin' heliports or helipads. So there's like one up here, two, three, four, five, six. Um, right now I'm only over one. It's kind of like a Venn diagram. Um, but that's like a, like a five mile range or something for the helipad. So let me see here. So if I disable heliports, and go back 
<clears throat> it looks like I'm okay. So I'm this dot up top here. So I should be okay in terms of any airports and stuff like that. Wow, what is that? DPA. That's like a bigger airport or something. That must be um, a massive no-fly zone. So I am here on the map. You can see at the bottom there's a little bit of no-fly zone, but I think I'm okay. All right, so I think I figured it out. This guy is doing something for work or something. So I can't read what his thing says. Environmental Services Inc. or something. So they literally just rebuilt this park. Wow, why is the camera shaking like that? Um, I can't zoom out. But this park was, um, I don't know if it's man-made initially or what, but it was totally revamped. So I'm wondering if this guy's with that company that um, did that work. All right, we're going to see if this is even possible. This thing might get run over by a car or something, but it's kind of freaking windy out. So it's right there on the ground. And... <clears throat> see here it says okay ready okay recording video okay we have propellers are, th are started and let's see what happens There's me. And I don't think I'm going to go any further than that. Oh boy. Losing control. Uh, yeah, too windy. Too windy. I'm a little nervous at this. I don't like this at all. Okay, going lower. <clears throat> Too windy. Oh, shoot. I can't go beyond the wind. No. Let's just shut it down. <laughs> Definitely too windy. That was scary. I could not fly it against the wind. So that was being blown away. And it would have went over the water and I wouldn't have been able to break, fly it back. So the wind is going that way, like away from me. That was sketchy. So I wanted to land it on the parking lot right here in front of me, but yeah. All right, so I, like I said, I don't know if this is a fly zone, no fly zone or what, but I grew some balls and ended up trying it out and found out it's definitely too windy so i launched it from one of these dark spots in the parking lot here and in terms of ground position landed it about 20 feet um further away so that was from the wind blowing it it seemed like as i flew higher up into the air the wind impacted it more and more and I was going full rudder or full speed or whatever into the wind and the drone was not coming back or moving towards me at all. So um, when I say I was sending it to the wind, I was um, basically that was bring, trying to bring it back towards me because the wind's blowing almost directly away from me. So because of that, um, 
yeah, I could not get it to return. And it was just kind of slowly drifting further and further away. So having said that, it was a success though. I was able to land it. I did land it in the snow, no problems. It didn't even tip over or anything like that. And yeah, I'm just a little nervous. You know, I don't want to break my drone on my first time flying it. So um, that's okay, but I'm not gonna have any fair weather conditions for weeks. <laughs> uh, so I don't know what to do. I don't know if I can go find like one of those um, indoor bubbles or something and go fly in one of those or what, but the uh, wind chill is supposed to be down in deep into the negatives. So right now it's, it's like single digits with the wind chill. Car saying it's 20 degrees. Um, so it's the only problem with the drones is you can't, they're, they're very fair weather. I, I thought it would be able to handle the wind a little bit better than that, but uh, I was contemplating on if I should even have tried that test flight just now. So I was thinking maybe I needed to go to just a bare parking lot. Um, but having said that, I, I'm, hey, I got it down safe and sound, so that's quite all right. Um, the FAA has their own smartphone app. It's called um, Before You Fly or something like that. And it gives you a readout of all the local airports and all that shit. And I'm pretty much surrounded by something. Now, um, the only thing is, I don't know, like, so they're classifying everything as an airport. So, uh, helipads or helopads or whatever. Um, also, like, there's a, there's a, there's like an aeronautical club spot that's relatively close to here and they're saying that that place is listed as like a uh, restricted or like a no-fly zone but it's it's a place just for hobbyists to fly their shit so I, I don't know I feel like a felon just trying to play with my damn toy here so um I don't know. I guess I'm going to have to put this thing away for the foreseeable future or something. I I don't... That's what sucks about living in this area. There's there's always lots and lots of wind. For those of you that don't know, I'm in the Chicagoland area. And yes, it's called the Windy City, but it was typically called the Windy City because of the politicians, not because of the wind. But we do have a lake. Um, and we have lake effect for everything. So weather, um, snow, temperatures, all that stuff. And um, so basically where I'm going with this is all winter long it's going to be windy as hell. So it kind of sucks. I was hoping or wanting it like go up high enough to where I could um, at least like look around where I just launched it. But I mean if I only went up, what was that like? 10 maybe 20 feet and it moved horizontally uh, horizontally 20 feet that could have been bad really really bad um, <clears throat> well now I know I suppose right it's, uh, it's only one way to, to kind of know the limitations of this and that's to test it out and try it out and all that stuff so um, that's it I'm gonna cut this short, I gotta get back to work. It's just an hour lunch. And I was supposed to have a one o'clock meeting and I'm skipping that. I, uh, it's for the project, my part's pretty much done. All that I am uh, have left to do is configure some ILO settings and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I gotta bring this uh, drone back in and that's about it, so. Yeah, stay tuned for more. You know, I may quite possibly look back at today. It was one of the craziest things. I've ever, ever done trying to fly that drone. Uh, I just got out of work for the day and the wind chill is absolutely out of control right now. Wow. I'm, I'm even wearing like jeans. Wind's going right through them. I don't know how people wearing like dress clothes can do it, man. That this stuff. Wow. So, um, I can't for whatever reason get the damn 4K video clip 
that I shot of the drone footage. I can't get it to pull up um, on my laptop. So what uh, what I did was I loaded it on my phone and it plays really really well. And it's a pretty cool little clip for just having uh, like I only flew less than two minutes over my lunch break. So my phone is now telling me it's 15 mile an hour winds. That's cold. That's that's really cold. Let me see if it'll tell me what the wind chill is with that. Um, wow. So I got to move my car around and go pick up my. Um, it says it feels like negative five with the wind chill. I gotta go pick up my bag and all my stuff from the uh, from work. I don't want to have to carry it out in this wind and all that shit. So I'm gonna pull the car up closer and go grab it. But damn. So it's gonna get even colder. But uh, that's about it. Um, Zcash is is taking a shit. Um, just I don't know. Not much going on. So stay tuned for more. All right, we're gonna try our first fire ever. Are you ready? Yeah. So I've never what really happened? lit in anything in a fireplace. So uh, you can't even see the fireplace on there. Look at that it's a black hole of yeah. death. So uh, what we're gonna do is light some papers first and see if it draws up. I gotta open the flue, or did I already do that? Oh, where's my flashlight? Here it is. All right, oh, no, I gotta pull it down. They're all a little different. Parents' house, you gotta um, go the opposite way. All right, uh, okay, you ready? Yep. All right, here we go. So what I've heard is if the smoke goes up, then we're good. If the smoke comes out then into the to... room, then it's the f it's not well ventilated. Okay. And it yeah. looks like it's going up, which it is good. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's what it needs to do. Uh -huh. Especially the way, whatever that yeah. that holder is, whatever you call it. Yeah, I don't think it's that big to do more. Right. I mean, if we had a bigger, like, fireplace itself, there would be room for more. But I think Ooh. one is a good, especially the first let's time. Let's try it, yeah. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It seems to be okay. I mean, I could smell it a little bit, but not, like, bad. Cool, so these are Duraflame stacks and they, they're supposed to make crackling, crackling. noises. So watch, I don't know if it's going out or, which, or you need to light the other end maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure either. Did you read? Well, it said to light like the one end that I lit, but it almost looks like it's going out. Oh, it's coming back. never used these before so I don't know I if it's supposed either. to have a visible fire or well, obviously just if, make noise. Obviously know. if there were several together um, it would be more roaring so. Hmm. That's true too. It's still burning on the one side. Oh there it goes. Oh, maybe. Cool. Yay. Yay. Thank you. What do you think? I hear, the I hear it doing something in there. You ever have an apartment with a fireplace? Yeah. No. That's pretty sweet. Oh, it sounds nice too. I had a fireplace at my first house, but it was it was not 
It was a gas fireplace, so it was only, it was kind of, that's why I call it fake fireplace. It had the fake logs in there? Yeah. Nice.